it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there, nasty. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. It's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice kick. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. There's no tell on that leg kick. Over and over, he's fighting behind these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, man, look what that one body shot did. That shows you the power, and the power in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh. Oh, nice job. And what a round! All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, some highlights for you now on that previous round, DC. Those body kicks were so good, I kind of felt like I got the wind knocked out of me from one of them. I have been on the receiving end on some nasty body kick, right? And all you want to do is start to carry your hands lower. Problem with that is the kicks start to look like they're going to go high. He's got to make an adjustment, change something, or this fight is going to continue to go down the same path. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Big kick land. Just out of range with that left hook. And a miss with the right hook. Powerful leg kick land. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, nice combination there by Liz. Leg kick. Leg kick after leg kick after leg kick. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? He lands a big knee to the body. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Once again, employing the knee. Liver kick. Oh, what a shot right on the button. I mean, shot, that is the most debilitating shot in all of fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Beautiful body kick. Well, the strike land. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size. Oh, picture perfect body shot there. He's unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly. And now he's got to Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh! Oh! A violent strike to the body. This is the end. This fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body.
right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight he would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 9-28. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just... Money like hocus pocus at the club with a bunch of brokers. Also, I can poke the bro, bitch. Hang out, it's a trap, trap. Put you all over my snap, chat. Damn, man, so fat, fat. Gotta get you home like stat, stat. Red light, green light. Red light, green light. Red light, green light. Stuck at the stoplight. Red light, green light. Red light, green light. Red light, green light. Stuck at the stop You know what I'm reaching for. Shot my three, who's keeping score? Too late to wait anymore. One mile till we make it home. Get a bag, get paid, get low. Ben Frank, don't stop, press go. Pick it up, lot of money on the flow. Keep shaking, hundred days, hundred poles. Hang on, it's a trap, trap. Put you all over my snap, chat. Get that, so fat, fat. All right, coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight division fight. history and championship history inside these walls. It's so crazy how the UFC has... Oh! Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Great point. Some real power shots here. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Now 
to this game. 90 seconds remain in the round. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, close guard now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, you know I don't like the D very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the D at some point in his life from the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard suck. A round it was, DC take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my tune. out of side control. All right, so he postures up here, and now... Oh, he's gonna attack the triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Come on, you gotta get out of there. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the back. And this might just be a matter of time. Side control, DC. This is where you want it. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He's to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. With the arm the moment he dropped his chest, it dropped all of his weight on his opponent's neck and put him to sleep. Jiu-Jitsu practitioners around the world celebrating the effort of that young man tonight. He got him! What a fight! Yeah, that's high-level Jiu-Jitsu there. I know going into this fight, he felt like he was going to have to be near perfect with his grappling and his transitions to force a tap, and he did one better here tonight. He forced a nap, so great technique to get the finish, and ultimately, he is your winner by way of submission. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Ladies and gentlemen.